Next up, Noah Muner, one of my very good friends as well. Another person with incredible grip strength and incredible technique. It's going to be great to see where he goes this on the station. the ropes all right there we go Noah one of our athletes at gauntlet pro obstacle challenge I got to see him run and he is incredibly strong and incredibly fast now that course had almost no technical obstacles this course almost all technical obstacles a completely different skill set required but I think Noah has both he makes the first special delivery and he's going to go one-handed into it. Interesting technique. That's the first time we've really seen that, Jackson. Very smart. That's what I, I a couple, like 20 minutes ago, I was talking about that. I think that is the smarter approach because you can spot your first hand a lot better than you, even if you do miss your other one, you can already get it. Links, shelfies. I think he's he's going faster than Aiden Wood, deciding to take a backswing. At this point, that is a fine move. He's actually ahead of Aiden's pace and Brooks's pace as well, but momentum shift. A different beast. Now, we saw Tyler do that uh, beta break, yeah. but we haven't seen anyone else really try it, Jackson. Yeah, the beta break, once again, I do think it is the best move, but it's just it's one of those things where it's kind of a risk if you're not familiar with it. Um, if you have the pipe star dismount technique in your wheelhouse, you can get it, and Noah clears the course. In the fastest time, subbing 120, we can see here he was miles ahead of Aiden's pace and kind of let it slip away from him, but the new fastest time, he's back onto stage three.